And I know, I understand besties, you're going to ask, but how much are you really earning? What's up, beautiful besties? You asked for it, and so here we are. I am going to be sharing with you the jobs that I've had previously and currently as a Filipina living in Italy. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I usually skip this part whenever I hear YouTubers say it, but here I go. If you want to follow my life here in Italy, I do vlogs and I also do sit down. So why don't you go ahead and click on that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell just so that you're notified once I upload another vlog or video. Do you need to learn Italian to find a job in Italy knowing that Italians don't really speak in English? Absolutely not. But of course, it doesn't hurt to learn the language, especially if you know that this is the only way you're able to communicate with the people around you. So let's just rewind a little bit. I came to Italy at around 2018 with my husband Marco and he already gave me a heads up that not a lot of people speak in English here. At that time, I didn't really worry. I guess I didn't expect that I would have a hard time finding a job physically. But then again, thanks to remote jobs, I was able to find work and actually earn money. So yes, all of the jobs that I'm about to share with you guys are all remote jobs. I never had to physically go somewhere. Everything was done at home. So my first ever work here in Italy, we were still living with my in-laws. It was back in 2019 and I was an online English teacher. Now, I honestly can't remember how I found out about this company. So I was mainly teaching Chinese kids because this was a Chinese company and I am going to be honest with you, it was or it is, it has to be. It's the hardest work I've had here in Italy. So your work depends on the lessons that you get. So a kid has to book you and that's the only time that you will get paid. So of course, the more lessons you have, the more money you will earn. And the more lessons you have, the more that you will get kids to book you because their parents can see how many lessons you've had in the past. Now I did mention that it's the hardest job I've ever had here in Italy only because you work or I worked eight hours a day. I remember kids would book me at around 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. That would be like nonstop. Sometimes I don't even have lunch. Sometimes I have lunch really, really late. And if you want to cancel for some reason the lesson that they book, you will get charged for it. To add on top of that, you have to have the energy. Remember, you're teaching kids, you're teaching children, so you always have to get their attention. So example, Hi, my name is Lena. I'm teacher Lena. What's your name? Like, how creepy is that? And to add on top of those two besties, salary is extremely low. Even if you're in the Philippines and you're earning from this company, there's no justice as to why it's really low. So one of the reasons why I quit is because obviously I'm in Europe. I have to earn in Euro because if we convert what I was earning in Philippine pesos to Euro, it's nothing. Like, it will get you nowhere. Now, in relation to this job, this leads us to my work number two. I was also tutoring English to Italian kids. Why? Well, one of the kids told me that their English teacher still speaks in Italian and doesn't really teach them English. And I tell you, the pay that I was getting for tutoring these Italian kids was a lot higher than how much I was getting paid with this other company. I only quit tutoring Italian kids English because pandemic kicked in. While I was working with this company that gave me a really, 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 really low pay, I started looking for another job. Obviously, I wanted to earn in euros because your girl lives in Europe. And this is when money started rolling in. Besties, if you don't know how to speak in Italian, yet you want to work, you want to make money from home, it is possible. Do not sleep on Upwork. There are so many, so many opportunities on Upwork that you can apply to. From VA, from data entry, from admin tasks, from video editor, from transcribing, there are so many. And this leads me to my third job, which is digital marketing strategist. I know it sounds pretty cool, right? So through Upwork, I was able to find this position, digital marketing strategist for a digital marketing agency. Now you may ask, but Maria, what was your course in college? I bet you had experience. I had zero experience besties. I didn't even know what a 
digital marketing strategists did. Now, it is true that some of these companies want people who already have the experience because they don't want to, you know, start from scratch. But some of these companies, honestly, they just need the basic done. Like if you know your laptop, you know how to run your Windows, you know how to run your email, you know how to run Excel and all that, I'm pretty sure you will find your way. Because like I said, I had no idea what this digital marketing strategist did. I had no idea what a digital marketing agency was or what they do. But since I was so desperate to earn in Euro and, you know, have a proper job here in Italy, I went for it. You have to keep in mind that there really is no easy job. You want a job, you search for one. You want that job, you work hard for it. You don't know what to do, you have to learn. With this digital marketing agency, I was able to save up money and actually have an allowance when we went back to the Philippines in 2019. And I have never, never had that amount of money ever in my life, even when I was working back in the Philippines. You guys want to know how much I was able to save up? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Let's move on to my last job and my current job. Here in Italy. So most of you know, or if you don't know, I am currently a content creator. So what do I mean by content creator? I create content for my YouTube channel, for TikTok, for my Instagram, and for my Facebook page. And if you don't follow me, girl, what are you doing? Go ahead and follow me on all my socials. Now set all those social aside as content creating, I also have something called UGC or user-generated content. I create contents for brands for them to use on their socials, on their website, or on their apps. And this, this my besties, this is definitely giving me the money. And now you may ask, can I be a UGC creator? Can I also do what you're doing? And the answer to that is a big fat yes. Anyone can be a UGC creator, but number one is you have to love creating content. You have to be creative. I'm not saying I am creative, but I love creating content. I really, really do. And I'm sure that you guys can see that. Now, I guess the only difference with having a proper job where you get monthly income versus UGC is it depends if you have a deal if you have a gig with a brand so if you're not having any deals with any brand you're not creating content for any brand then obviously you're not getting any money but if you have deals after deals after deals that is the goal and I know a lot of UGC creators who have made this like a full-time job and that is my goal Really, it's really my goal. These girls are like earning from 4,000 monthly, 5,000, even 2,000 monthly. And I know, I understand besties, you're going to ask, but how much are you really earning? Obviously, when people are sharing their jobs and their work from a different country, you wanna know how much they're earning, I get it. I'm going to give you an estimate of how much I have earned with UGC so far if I didn't spend the money. <laughs> you see, when I went back to the Philippines, that is where all my money kind of, flew away. But here we go. For my UGC journey, I've made of up to around maybe a thousand, less than almost two thousand dollars, which is not that bad. And what? You are creating content. You handle your time. You're working from home. You're doing what you love. And that leads us to the end of this video. I hope you found this video a little bit helpful. If not, let me know what I missed. Let me know what you want to know. But just always think that if you really want something, you, I guess, have to work hard for it. If you want to find a job, there are so many opportunities you don't need to wait to learn italian you know to learn the language to be able to find a job because thank goodness there are remote jobs and so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you have any questions by commenting on the below don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to like and share this video and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell just so that you're notified once i upload another vlog or video i hope you guys enjoyed today's vid and i will see you on the next one bye for now